starting event. Here we go. You good? You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our special spot podcast. My name is Frank Matro with Keller Williams Preferred Real Estate and the owner of frankmatrohomes.com. Um, today, I've got a really super special guest, Rosario Tecciano. You got close yeah. enough, close enough, my Italian brother. Uh, yeah, I'm, okay, so I, I did my best. Rosario, from, from co founder and CEO of Click Invest. Now, Rosario, we both know that inventory is at an all time low and it's very difficult to get deals. So, um, a lot of people are going to, uh, to strange places. Um, to uh, or they're going outside the box. It used to be a lot of people just went to the MLS. They got their deals. They hit their numbers. Now the MLS there's is probably the last place everybody goes to uh, look for a, a good deal. And then if you do go to the MLS, you've got 50, 60 people bidding with you. So yeah. Rosario, tell me, tell me a little bit. Tell me what you've seen, what the numbers are uh, with the distressed inventory, how much they've gone down. In, in the Illinois market and what you see people doing to get deals. Cool. So th first off, thanks for having me on, Frank. I know we've known each other a long time. Um, just a little bit on myself. I'll, I'll, I'll flow through uh, some points here about myself um, for you guys that don't know me. So I've been doing this a long time, right? Frank, you've been doing this 34 plus years. I've been doing this for about 15 um, sold over 2,600 properties. I was ranked fourth by Wall Street Journal. Um, and then we launched Click Invest in 2017. The reason we created Click Invest was because we knew, like you said, inventory was getting tight and investors, um, investors were struggling out there to find product. Okay. That was the big kicker. So what we're seeing, you brought up some slides. Um, this, so single family inventory. That's total inventory is down 22%. That's in just the last two years, okay? Distressed inventory, so that's the stuff, that's the space that we work in, right, Frank? The, the foreclosures, the um, short sales, REOs, all that stuff is down 60% over the, over the same time period. So from 10,000 properties down to 4,000 properties. Wow. So when I get investors coming to me, it's it's always the same song and dance. You know, there's there's no inventory out there or the MLS is saturated, like you said. And it is. I mean, it seems like every other day there's 100 new investors that come into market. Right. I'm not sure if you're experiencing that, but no, there is. There, there's there's more than enough investors out there. And there's the, the demand is definitely way higher than the supply is right now is what I'm finding. Absolutely. So. Um, what we've found is that when you're trying to source the MLS or when you're trying to work with the, the MLS, you need systems, but it's not a silver bullet. It's not the beginning and the end. So a typical client of ours, if they're doing volume, they're going to be, they're going to be working in several pots. Okay. So the all, I mean, flips is at a nine year low for most of our clients. If you're used to doing five flips a year, now you're only doing a, a couple, which means you're working a lot more. Right. Um, but here's some of the deals, or here's some of the ponds, and I want to stay here for a minute, if we could. But this is how the 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 pros are looking at deals. This is how your clients are looking for deals. This is how our clients are looking for deals. They're not just looking at the MLS, right? They're going to online auctions. They're they're working with wholesalers. Some are doing direct mail. Some are working with brokers like yourself. So the days of just working the MLS or just working one avenue are gone, in our opinion. Totally. Yeah, you know, there were the the problem is too with the shift in the market now, Rosario. A lot of people um, were got comfortable being comfortable, being easy. So now that the market's shifted, they don't what you what you put up online here is definitely critical that you diversify and you are definitely one avenue and a very successful avenue. Uh, but a lot of people are there's a lot of people who are still just relying on the MLS. And yeah. if there's one thing today you hit on is for you to be successful in this market is you definitely have to diversify. And these five avenues that you brought up are five avenues that I'm 
utilizing right now too. But let's uh, let's let's go let's go jump let's jump right into uh, Click Invest because I've got clients that are that are utilizing it. Um, I think it's an amazing program. That's why I've got you on here. Um, I want you to talk a little bit more about it because what my clients the reason why my clients like it is number one is the speed that they they get the uh, uh, the information and a lot of times. Um, you know, it's it's first in, first win. Not always, but in a lot of deals. So you provide that benefit. Um, the other deal is uh, a lot of pro a lot of properties are be are coming on the market and they're overpriced. So sellers are saying, "Hey, if there's so many buyers out there, you know, let's uh, let's hit a home run." Um, and, and they overprice the properties. And what you're able to do is you're you're able to go in and to negotiate with those uh, in those. Uh, MLS deals and actually create a deal where uh, an ag where an agent and or their investor would say, "Hey, I'm not going to mess with this property. It's a hundred thousand over overpriced." So you go in and you're the front person and you do all the dirty work, so to speak. You do all the legwork, and then you're creating an opportunity that they thought wasn't there because a lot of times people look at at um, at a property online, they're like, whoa, that's way too retail or that's too close to retail. So I'm not going to even waste my time with that. But you're you're taking those deals and you're creating a market. You're creating an opportunity that wasn't there or that was not perceived to be there. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So we're, on, we're, we're living in an on-demand culture, right? Everybody wants the deal now or whatever it is. If the, it, we're, we all love Amazon, we all want things here and now and, and nobody's got patience for anything. And the pros that have been doing this a long time, they understand you got to work and you've got to source multiple ponds. Well, for us, we were born out of the, you know, the, the Wall Street space. So we worked with the big banks that were selling properties. And then we worked with the big, you know, Wall Street hedge funds that were buying properties. Well, what we learned was you need to leverage technology. So we use technology to funnel through every single property that's on the market every single day. But real estate's still a human, you know, capital business. You can't, I mean, there's a lot of tools out there. There's a lot of, you know, software programs that come out every other day that say, oh, this is it. You know, it's very simple. You just throw in the address and all the numbers are calculated for you. Frank, You've been doing this 34 years. How often do you come across a property that's on one side of the street that's worth 20, 30, 40 K, you know, different than than a house across the street, you know, uh, all the time? I mean, there's school district lines, you know, where if you're uh, if you're on one side of the, uh, the uh, street, you're at a uh, much better school district. So people are going to pay 30, 40 thousand dollars more or you're you've got the same type of structures from the outside but they're totally different on the inside that significantly affect the value as well too rosario so yeah there's you know that that's a that's a big concern and that's a big so, issue in this market so we've learned to leverage technology the right way by using it as a filter but then still having humans look at every single deal you don't close hundreds and thousands of transactions basing it off of what the computer tells you it's going to sell for you and let, let me interrupt that's that's huge because I, I do know, uh, you know, some of these national buyers that have been around and there's there's some other ones that are coming to, to the forefront uh, without the human elements. Um, you're uh, you're going to make some bad buys and you're going to your percentages of bad buys are going to be dramatic. Um, I've seen it. You know, you, you know who I'm talking about, the big hedge funds. Yep. Uh, they're they're in a lot of trouble with a lot of their buys uh, because they they're everything is computerized. Now, you've got that elements in the computerized part makes you go fast. It makes yeah. you cover. So now if, uh, if, if let's say, uh, uh, let's say I'm a one man army um, and I can only, and you, there's 20 properties that show up. I can't look at all 20. Okay. And I can't go South side, North side, North suburbs, South suburbs. Okay. Yeah. But if I spend my money with you, if I spend, if, if I'm an investor looking to flip, um, you're, um, and I spend two ninety five a month. You're able to take that away, that that issue away. You're you're able to give me not the numbers on which deals are are going to be buys now. So then I can spend my time. Uh, my my I always talk about you know spending 
your time on the highest ROI activity. I could be running around like a like a crazy man, or what you. The thing that I love what you do, Rosario, is you narrow that twenty down to the maybe there's two properties right now, five properties right now that are ready buys right now, and there's other ones that you negotiate. So maybe you can can you talk more about that process about, yeah. about what you do because that part that's the meat and potatoes of what of how you can really help investors yeah. because uh, you know what what let me let me extend this out. So what what's happened in the past? is when, when my team's running around, we're looking at a bunch of properties. If we go to the wrong one first and um, that uh, the good one we go to last, it may be sold by the time we get there because uh, uh, because I, we we don't have Superman capes. You know, we, if we got to drive up to the north side and uh, from from the south suburbs, that's an hour one way. Then I've got to look at a few properties and come back south, not knowing which one, you know, we try to guess which one is is the right one to go to first. You, what you do is you eliminate that and you rank them based on the information you give me. It, it literally ranks everything. Can you expound on that a little bit more? Absolutely. So I'll. So here's here's what happened over the years, right? So investors were coming to us and saying, "Hey, I need more product," or "I'm sick of running out to a property and finding ten people at the house." Okay. And I mean, I talked to a guy that signed up last week. Seasoned guy has cash. Um, did a bunch of wholesaling, but he's just, he's dying because of the time that goes into it. So he goes, Hey, you know, I just want an easy source. And I said, well, let me guess you're spending 20 to 30 hours a week looking for the next deal. And he goes, yeah. And then you get to the house and there's 10 or 15 people there. Yeah. I go, well, what if we did all that for you? What if we reviewed the deals, sent you deals right to your inbox? We analyzed them for you. We gave you a rehab estimate based on our transaction history. I've done 2,600 deals. My partner, Jeff Kirshner, has done over 4,000 deals. We built a rehab estimator based on our experience. It's not $30,000 every rehab. Right? You gotta look at the information. Is the tax records right? What's the square footage? What are you gonna do to this property? So we do all that heavy lifting, and then we give you a suggested offer and the after repair value with all the comps. So instead of me talking about it, I'm gonna just show you, because I feel like we're- Let's do it. Okay. So this is just our stats. It, at a time when there's no inventory, we're sending out 124% more deals than we did last year. So now 100 plus deals a year, or a, a year, a week we're sending out. Um, I'm gonna pull up a rental deal, or I'm sorry, this is a flip deal. So if you're in our system, you're gonna get an email, depending on where, 20 to 25 deals a day coming at you with everything baked in for you, your net profit, your ROI, your, that's your, your return on investment. We're giving you the offer amount, the rehab, the ARV. You want to check out the property? Click that. It takes you right to the property, right in Google. Okay. You can do all this stuff right from your device. So, Rosario, so, let, let me interrupt. So, let's say I've got one investor that says, hey, I got to get a minimum of 15% return. I've got another guy that says, I got a minimum. Uh, no, no, no. I don't care about what that guy wants. I need a minimum of 25%. So, you can customize those programs for yep. each investor. Yep, everything. Um, the, the max purchase price, the max they wanna spend on construction, the minimum ROI. If you wanna do rentals, we've got rentals too, so you can get the minimum yield you wanna get. And then all the information is here, one line summary, all the comps. And again, Frank, all this is vetted by an in-house analyst that, that we, our main analyst has been with us for eight years. We brought on a second analyst, licensed appraiser, these guys are sitting in the office all day reviewing these deals, making sure we're not sending you crap because how often do you get an email from a wholesaler or from a system or, or somebody saying great deal? And then you look at it, you're like, this is not a great deal. Quit wasting my time. All so, the time. So our, our investors, at the end of the day, it's all about time. And if they're, if they're working in a market where inventory is tight, they don't got time to go run to 20 to 30 houses. So what we do is we analyze it for them. So instead of, instead of spending 30 hours a week, they're spending 30 minutes a week submitting 30 offers based on our experience of doing thousands of closings. And then once that offer gets accepted, then they go walk it. So they're not blowing their time or wasting their time until they get the deal locked up. So Rosario, cover your cost with with everyone because i know it's it's cheaper for a rent uh a renter 
yep. versus a, uh, a wholesaler that's a flipper. I mean, they're both insanely great values, but cover that with us. And then, um, you know, I'd like to just delve in and just highlight all the value that that uh, buys you. Yeah. So if you're doing flip, it's two ninety five per month. So it comes out to ten dollars a day. And and let me share just who we have here. Right. So we have eight people on that team. We've got four people just in our brokerage team. All we do is buy side. We don't do any real estate. That's why you and I work together so well, Frank. We don't do the back end and you guys don't want to deal with all the nonsense on the front end. So we've got a team of four people in our office, a lead broker that does all the negotiating, a transaction coordinator that sends 50 to 75 offers out a day, a closing coordinator that handles all of your closings, coordinates your earnest money delivery, attorney review, inspections, uh, deals with your lenders, all that stuff. And then we have a field inspector, so a licensed field inspector. So if you want to walk the property, they'll walk it for you, okay? And then we've got two in-house analysts. We've got in-house software development. So we got all these people here for 10 bucks a day. I mean, if you had to go out and get a virtual assistant, you're not going to be spending 10 bucks a day. So Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, an, it's impossible to, to match that value. And, you know, the thing I like about it, it's, it's real value. So, you know, there's other sites, other systems, other, there's a lot of things out there that, that look great, that don't really, uh, that aren't as efficient as you, as you are. So um, I do love the fact that you, you can, I mean, just for the time alone that you, you can save someone, it, it's worth three times that amount. I mean, it's, yeah. if you put, if I put a price on my time, I mean, I, I you know, I wouldn't even want to go there. It's, I'd have to be more than three times that amount. If I, you know, th this click invest is amazing when it comes to saving time, which is our, our most expensive co commodity. And, and, and here's something I want to throw out there. So at the end of the day, it's all about proof, right? Mm -hmm. So let me dive into some of this. So here's some of the deals that our clients have done. These are the rental ones. Some of the rental properties our clients have bought, but I want nice. to get more into the, the flip properties. Cause this is, this is where I feel the majority of the pros are at right now is when they're dealing with flip properties, it's like, what are the numbers? So here was a deal on Mount Prospect. The blue is what we said it would sell for. The black is what it sold for. So how often do you get somebody that brings you a deal that says, oh, it can sell for so much more? Based on what? On your right. feeling? We base everything on data. So if you see a lot of these deals, our value was either lower or pretty darn close to what it sold for. and And that's... That's the money shot. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Because I can I can spit out any system in the world, or I can tell you, hey, here's a new system, or here's this, or here's that, or hey, why don't you go do direct mail? You know how many guys? It's like selling books. Everybody wants to be a wholesaler now. The wholesalers that we work with are spending ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month in direct. Exactly. But today, you want to become a wholesaler. You know, I mean, so at the end of the day, we 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 want to work with the pros. We want to work with the guys that understand what it what it takes and, and understand the time savings that they're getting from working with a team like us. Um, and at the end of the day, I mean, it's it's about closing deals because I could tell you this is the greatest thing since, you know, sliced bread. But if the if the proof isn't there, it's nothing. It's just my my feelings. OK, Rosario. Well, you showed us that you're cranking down a ton of deals. It's happening. It's real. Um, explain to us. On the average, how many deals do you do a month? And uh, if you if you were to take on more business, how much? You obviously have a, gi a gigantic crew working with you. What is the ceiling with your crew? How much? How much are you doing now? And how much more can you take on? We could so realistically, we could handle probably fifty to sixty real pros. Um, we've got over a hundred people in our database. Okay, a hundred subscribers already. And when I say real pros, I mean guys that are doing volume. So, you know, anywhere from six to 10 properties a year, a majority of our users aren't doing that. A majority of our users are looking for a couple deals a year. We probably only have 20 pros in our system right now. So to answer that question, we could probably handle about 150 to 175 clients of which you've got 50 to 60 real pros out there that are doing volume, if that makes sense. Total, uh, uh, makes total sense. So um, really, you can easily, you have 
you can easily double your volume now. And I'm no, I know you, Rosario. If you go, if you crash that barrier, I know you're going to hire more people. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I mean you've got a, a a huge staff right now, so the proof is in the pudding. You're not afraid to hire up. No, I mean, at the end of the day, it's about serving the clients. Um, I do want to stress, though, we we are looking for the pros, right? We are looking for the guys that maybe you're starting out and you're only doing two or three a year, but you want to get to six, right? So we can help with that. Bart, which is which is a client, I believe is a client of yours too, but we both know him. He's been a client of ours for two years. In 2016, he came to us. He did 17 flips. The next year, he did 33. We We nearly doubled his business at a time when – you and I both know people are doing less and less deals. So we're taking the, guys like that and just taking them to the next level. And the reason why he could scale up is because you have saved him time. Every person had, we, everybody has a ceiling. We can only do so much per, per day. What you allow us to do is crash that ceiling without yep. doing any extra work. You do the extra work and the, the cost is, is unbelievable. When you consider all the man hours that you put into the transaction and all the analysis that you put into the transaction, I mean, you could, like you said, you can't buy that. No, you know, you can't. No, you can't buy that at that. You, if you want to, if 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 myself or anyone else wanted to create a click invest, you, it it couldn't be done. Yes. Um, you couldn't provide. You know, it couldn't be done at that numbers. I mean, I couldn't be. I could not create my own click invest. Like, let's say, hey, I want to do my own thing. But I want you know I would be paying astronomically more. So the value that you provide is um, is also the price point because the price point is unreal for everything. It, and like you said, if 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 he does, so let's say Bart does. Um, uh, let, let, let's just let's just even say let's 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 re reduce it down to the ridiculous. Okay, so let's say you've got a guy doing one deal a year. And yep. he's struggling to get that one deal a year. You're able to get him two deals a year. And so let's say he averages uh, $25,000 per transaction. Yep. And that's $25,000, okay? So now uh, he's making 50000 So let's say he doubled his income. And so this program is going to cost him $3,600. No, so it's not. Think okay. about it. This isn't an annual contract. You're on when you're looking. We got guys that will come on, buy four properties, and then they shut off for a few months. Oh, wow. Then that's, that's crazy. So think about that. I mean, when you're hunting, you got it out. We don't hold, we don't hold your hand in a flame. I mean, so, at the end, go so ahead. Let's, so. Then let's, let's say the worst, the worst case scenario. Let's say a guy wants to keep it on anyways. Yeah. Um, and he, even if he keeps it on, which he doesn't have to, um, any, um, let's say he spends his money that way. So. Yeah. You get made him an extra twenty five thousand, and if I subtract the thirty six hundred on, then is it is it worth thirty six hundred dollars or a thousand dollars to make an additional twenty two thousand dollars, approximately twenty two, twenty three, twenty four? I mean, that's a that's a hell of a return when you think about it. You, where where are you going to find those kind of returns? So that kind of money is is well spent, and you. Also, not only is the money well spent, um, your your other value is in um, um, is is in saving time, people time, so that they can pursue other avenues or or maybe focusing on selling the properties. Uh, you know, versus running more, around trying I mean, to find more properties. Yeah. Well, and what like what Bard and Ron and those guys do is they're like, okay, well, now I I can focus more time on delivering better product or going out raising additional capital or hey what about spending more time with your family like what a concept you know wow right everybody comes into real estate thinking that oh i'm just going to invest a few hours a week and and sit on the couch and make money when in reality now they're spending their nights and mornings and weekends looking for the next deal and their family's staring at them like well what the heck i thought you were getting into this so we could have financial freedom and now they're a slave to it so um, yeah, that's why we exist. I mean, the pros get it. We've, we've got guys that do a ton of volume that, that laugh at the cost. I mean, there were guys in the beginning that wanted to, they were willing to pay three times as much to block people out. And <laughs> we said, we couldn't do that. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we feel we're a good, we're a good product. We're integrity based. 
And if we can, if we can make lives easier and better by, by saving time, then we're going to do it. So. Absolutely amazing. Rosario, um, thank you uh, very much for visiting with me today. Um, you've got an amazing pro product. It's affordable. Uh, it, it produces an uh, insane return if you utilize it. I mean, that's the other last thing I want to say, you know, uh, and everybody, you, there's people out there that get stuff done and there's people out there that don't get stuff, stuff done. You still have to do the work. So just yes. because I think what Rosario is telling is trying to say, look, guys, I can give you this product, which is amazing, but you still got to, uh, you still got to submit the offers and you still, you still got to close deals. I mean, yep. people think that, you know, Hey, I buy this program. Rosario is going to write me a check for 25 grand. I, you know, every other month or, or something along those lines, you still have to do the work. It's just that you're going to be a lot more effective and a lot more efficient, and you're going to make a lot more money when you use this program. So Rosario, I appreciate you coming on. Um, you got a great uh, product and I'm looking forward to uh, growing more with you. And uh, let's see what happens this year. We're, we'll let, let's go out and have some more fun. Awesome. Love it, Frank. Thank you very much for having me on, man. I appreciate it. See you, buddy. Take and care. Stay tuned for our next webinar. Take care.